All right. So I'm going to take you guys to your room. I was a little nervous about, yeah. you know, being the host because the guys are a little bit nervous. They don't know what to expect. Come on over oh, here. Oh, look at that view, dude. We got, oh, bro, we got little surprises, too. I don't have any hopes about what's going to happen at all. I just hope I have fun. You know, I hope the other guys have fun. Oh, no. Woo! Oh, geez. <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so oh, my God. <laughs> Now that that is says, trip. I want to sex you up. I think I'm supposed to read this envelope. So I'm sitting here in my room, and then there's a big envelope that says KM on it. Check this out. You're about to begin an exciting and challenging journey. Perhaps I can help. Apparently, if they're a really big music manager. I've been working in the music industry for many years as a manager and executive of one of the world's top music management and marketing companies. And they're interested in what we've got going here. Please familiarize yourself with the attached sheet music. Every breath you take by the police. Oh, great. What's the deal with the sheet music? Or were we about to audition for someone? KM. Yeah, we just, we just gotta figure out who KM is. We don't know who it is, but apparently we're meeting with them tonight, and uh, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. It's a mystery. You know, instead of auditioning for this guy with this song, I'd rather not do that. Why? Rather just talk to him and then audition for I'm sure we will. Maybe it's just to see where we sing or something, you know. I know where I sing. Back up. Gentlemen, go see what's going on. We get into the truck to come over here, and we're like, who's KM? What's up with this thing? We made an agreement that if they want us to sing, we're all going to put our foot down and not sing. <laughs> so we walk into this room, and there's this really intimidating woman sitting there. Hi. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Good to meet you. Hi, She's pretty. She looks real tough. She looks like, you know, she might be a bitch. So I think we all walked in there pretty nervous. My name's Katie McNeil. I am a manager and executive at 10th Street Entertainment, which is one of the world's leading music and management companies. You know, we work with artists like Blondie, Motley Crue, Everclear, and Buck Cherry. I got a lot of hesitation from everyone at my company when I agreed to do this project. That's not the new, that's not the new to me. I mean, I, I, would, I would be shocked if you said everyone at my company is excited about this and they're embracing this because I wouldn't believe you. And I'm thinking to myself, we didn't call this meeting. You called it with us and you're like, you're saying like you might not, you're crazy to want to work with us. So I think in my mind, she and I got off on the wrong foot. You know, I had the exact same hesitation when I was first approached. I said, I don't want to work with some cheesy boy band thing. That's not what I do. I'm sure she's putting her reputation to a point, but it's not going to kill her. We have a lot more to lose than she does. I was not, you know, into the whole boy band thing. So I went and did my research and said, hold on a minute. You know, collectively, you guys have sold, I think, over 40 million records. You can't be an idiot and do that. You can't have no talent and do that. Now, having not been fan of your bands and not to say that you keep saying that over and over and I over said it again. once. I only said it once before but I want you to know also that I'm not that familiar with each of you guys and so um, I tried to find a song and um, I'd like to hear you guys I don't want to do it it's kind of corny I have no voice I think that the whole table right now is getting some serious flashbacks you got somebody in there telling us what to do how to do it. I'm not comfortable in that room with her. It's going to be really hard to work with you guys if you're going to fight every step of the way. I mean, I don't think it's a hard... It almost seems like an audition. We still have egos, too. That, I understand you know your saying? egos, and that's something we will have to work on. None of us want to sing the song. So I'm hoping that we're all going to put our foot down and not do it. What do you think? I mean, what do, you, do you want to do that, or do you think it sounds, seems kind of hokey that we're getting up at the front of the table and doing it? I think it's a little hokey to, to not do it and coming in as a vocal group and not being able to sing, you know, a couple bars of a song. <laughs> She's so mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as I can go before Abrams. Yeah. You're up. It's kind of corny. A little corny. She's a tough chick, man. Katie's like, you guys do this. This is my way or the highway. Every breath you take, every move you make, every step you take. I really feel like hate was challenging me. And I, I just got to the point where I was thinking like, I'm not walking out of here as the guy that was afraid to sing the song. I got the lyrics wrong. Sounded great. So are you going to give it a shot? No. I can't sing it. Do you hear it? I just can't. I thought he was full of today. 
I think it was a cop out. I don't uh, have a voice. I'm sure she has like legitimate concerns about me and my apprehensive uh, behavior. And you know, I have been apprehensive about doing this, man. And, and it, it's been no secret, it really has. Originally, I was totally unexcited about being here. I re was reluctant. I almost didn't get on the plane here today. You know? Wow. Being in a new group is not like old. And I want you guys to know that. I mean business. And if these guys don't mean business, then I'm out. I'm not going to be part of this project at all. I appreciate all of you doing it, with the exception of Jeff. There's a lot of work to do. They have a long way to go. She got her point across, though. She did. She's too tough. If she manages us, I'll never manage to stop looking at her boobs. <laughs> really? What, does she have a head? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. I'm only kidding. If it was a dude, we wouldn't have done it. No. Hell no. no. Hell no. I wouldn't even be here. Well, look, if she wasn't smuggling midgets, I wasn't singing. <laughs> <laughs>